eSim Studios back at you with another video. This one was a real quick one. We just did the unboxing, and what do you know? Already found a little twerk, a twerk, <laughs> a little uh, quirk. Excuse me, what's on my mind? A, a hiccup in the setup process that has I have not seen. Well, I take that back. This happened on the S23 Ultra last year and didn't know how to get around it. This year, I do know how to get around it. When you're setting up your phone, this is a T-Mobile device. I got this basically free for trading in any device, right? So when you get a carrier, uh, apparently Samsung device now, it requires you to even get to the home screen. They want you to put your T-Mobile SIM card in there. But I don't want to do that, right? I want to go to the home screen and start using it without having to add an eSIM or a physical SIM, right? So I found a workaround. So if you got your device from Samsung and it is an unlocked device, this might not, uh, I don't know how they're doing it this year, but I know the carrier devices um, are are doing this now. And it's a real pain in the ass. So I did find a workaround for this, okay? So here's what you do. So when you go through the, see, so it wants you to add, add a SIM. It's telling you add your SIM, add your SIM. So what, can I increase this? Oh, never mind. I was going to, uh, brightness. Anyways, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go through. I'm going to skip the Wi-Fi. Continue here. This is where they want you to put your T-Mobile SIM. And I'll add something uh, that I found weird as well. So, connect to a mobile network. Transfer SIM from another device. So you, I would basically take the SIM out of my nothing phone, right? And put it in here, which I don't want to do. Or scan a QR code if you're going with a new carrier or you have a carrier like Mint Mobile. They do that. They'll email you a QR code for your eSIM. Boom. And then you'll, it'll download the eSIM, right? Um, or you can search for mobile plans and buy one right now. But what if I don't want to do that? Well, how do you, where's the next button? Where's the skip button? Nowhere to be found, right? Here's the trick if you want to get around it. Go back to the home screen. When you get back, simply see the volume buttons. Power, volume down, volume up. When you get back to the home screen, you're going to press and hold volume down for about five seconds or unt until it gives you access to the home screen without putting your SIM card in there. So we're on the home screen. Get Find volume down. No SIM lock is unlocked. So it's unlocked now. It's still wanting you to put a SIM, uh, your SIM card in, but I don't want to do that. And we'll just go, we'll just simply get to the home screen and show you how that little trick. Boom. What do you know? Now, before we get out of here, um, and nobody else to tell you that, because I've searched online. Um, well, I'm sure there is something, but it's not widely known. So that's why I'm letting you know in certain situations like myself. So look, even if you don't obviously have a YouTube channel, or you, even if you don't have multiple phones, you still might not want to transfer your SIM card into your new device until you completely set this up because there's I freaking hate it when you put your sim card in there and it's a brand new device and I like to set mine up the way I like it and then put the sim card in but look at this then that's uh look this is I got this from T-Mobile right that's weird when I uh just before I factory reset it to show you this 
It had a Metro PCS icon there. So, uh, I have no idea why that should not be on there, but uh, it was, and now it's not. So, look, first thing you do, I'm not gonna, I'm, we're gonna get out of here. Just one last tip. After you get to the home screen, right, sign into Wi Fi or whatever you do, whenever you get to the home screen, always, always, always check for a software update. It'll fix little quirks, not torques, little quirks. Uh, in your operating system, remember this is a brand new device. Officially hasn't even been released yet. You can't, cannot go into a store and get one yet. Um, 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 oh yeah, here, here's what you do. So you're going to swipe down, simply hit that little gear icon in the top. And you're going to go all the way down to software update. And then software update. Now it wants me to sign into my Wi-Fi, but... I get, I think there's one there is one available. Oh, I know there is one available. So whenever you get your phone, whatever phone, whether it's a Samsung, whether it's a nothing phone, whether it's a Pixel phone, um even if you buy a used phone, always 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 first thing you do, check for software update. And then that could fix and save you a lot of time because that happened to me in the past where I can't even remember what happened. I wasted freaking an hour and a half trying to figure something out when I should have just done performed a software update and it solved my issue. So anyways, quick little video, just a, a nice little tip for those of y'all out there that uh, run into that uh, roadblock right there. But I will see you tomorrow. Oh, hit me up in the comments if you have any questions, if you get stuck. Um, I'll definitely help you out. I check, I check the comments every day, so... Um, uh, even if I don't know the answer to your issue, I'll try and uh, find a resolution for you and get right back to you. Peace out.